Hello everyone. I'd like to explain the concept of the earn value curve. This presentation relates back to uh, our project management one, project management two videos. And uh, let's say that we're tracking a project over time. We've got time on the x-axis here. And let's say we've been uh, looking at the cost of the activities in the project. And let's say that this vertical line right here is today. That's now. And this is in the past and this is in the future. <clears throat> the first curve that you can uh, plan on right away is the budgeted cost of the work scheduled. That's this blue line right here. That's the actual budget. And we can plot that line at the very beginning of the, of the project. You can see that it start, most projects start off slow, then you have a lot of resources going out in the plan because you've got a lot of activities going on and at the end of the project it levels out. Now, assuming that you've got your in, in uh, Microsoft Project, assuming that you've got the cost inserted associated with each activity, you can plot that budget curve. The second curve on this dashed line is the actual cost of the work performed. Okay? And that's this dashed line here. So this is actually how much we're spending over time. Notice that it's below the budget. Okay? So as of today, we've spent this much money on the project. If this continues, okay, this is a, our projection, we're going to be over budget. <clears throat> okay, the third one with this red dotted line here, I don't know how well you can see it, but it goes up right there. This is actually the earned value curve itself. It's the budgeted cost of the work performed. So this is how much value we're getting out of our project, whatever is completed, according to the budget. So, assuming we're sitting right here, that's how much value we get, we get out according to our budget, the earned value. That's the value of everything that's complete according to the budget. Notice that this is what we've actually spent. This is the value of what we've actually got. So the difference, this minus this, on this cost axis is the amount that we're currently over budget. So if we continue, we're going to be way over budget at the end of this project. The second thing that we can see, besides whether we're above or over the budget, uh, under or over the budget, is whether we're ahead or behind on this project. Well, you can see here that we're actually behind because our earned value according to the budget is at this level, but we should have had that level back here in that time period. So the amount that we're actually behind is the difference between this value here on that time axis and this value, however amount of time that is. So depending on the relationship of these three curves, you can answer the two questions. Are you over or under budget? And are you ahead or behind on your project? Most project managers, especially ones that are working for the Department of Defense that manage many projects, can look at these three curves and without even thinking very much about it, they can determine, yeah, we're over budget, or we're under budget, or we're ahead, or we're, down, we're behind. So if you're tracking a project on, let's say, Microsoft Project, uh, these are in value curves, will pop up, assuming that you're keeping your project updated on progress and how much you've actually spent, and of course, uh, how much you've budgeted in the project itself. 